Hi, I'm Patty Lockhart. I'm from ASPB. We are a medium-sized, 91-year-old um, society um, with a reasonable endowment, and there's nothing wrong right now. So why would we change that? <laughs> well, our business model is overly dependent on the journals, um, and open access, of course, threatens that revenue stream. Um, our membership has declined 25% since 2007. The only sector that's growing is the emeritus sector, and those are <laughs> retired members who pay no dues. And, sorry. So what are we going to do? <laughs> In 2013, the society hired a, a number of consultants, and they did a lot of different analysis and basically came to the conclusion that ASPB is in the service industry. And I apologize, the slides are all messed up there. None of it's <laughs> looking like it did. But um, we are in the service industry. We need to start thinking like vendors and treating our people like customers. We need to change the way we think. So, oh, there's ASPB. <laughs> I'm with the journals, so um, I'm going to start with them. The first thing that my staff and I had to do was identify who are our customers. Well, there are readers our reviewers, our editors, and our authors. And we had to start thinking about how to treat them like customers. And instead of thinking like, authors never read the instructions, we, we looked at the instructions. They're 31 pages long. <laughs> they're, they're boring. It's really hard to find what you need. And no wonder they don't read the instructions. And, and what's up with our editors and our reviewers? Well, these people are really busy, they have full-time jobs, they travel a lot, and they basically donate their services to our society because they love plant biology. So we need to start appreciating that and really trying to make life easier for them. So we started with this document called The Big Picture, and we, we just tried to think of what are goals to make things easier for people. And then we interviewed our customers, or surveyed them, and started populating the big picture with tasks that we wanted to do. And during that, project, uh, that process, we decided to partner with um, eJournal Press and sort of change the way our peer review system was delivered. So partnering with them gave us a chance to start over. We changed our, our opening pages to a clean and welcoming look. Um, and I hope this video is going to work. We, we started to link for authors. We offered a new um, submission system, and we linked the instructions right to the task. So I'm going to start this video. And from the um, thing, you go directly to the instructions. The instructions are bulleted. There's graphics. You can just jump right back to your submission and keep going. We, we streamlined the drag and drop upload and authors can now submit their files in a very quick and intuitive way. There's no instructions, there's no thinking. You just submit. Um, our editors wanted it, an easier way to find quality reviewers, and they didn't want to have to look for them. They're tired of having to browse and search. So they wanted all their suggestions, all their favorite things presented on one screen and for them to pick, and they wanted to see the author suggested reviewers, uh, author excluded reviewers, their favorite reviewers, uh, reviewers matched by keyword, and also by citations within the submitted manuscript. So there's a lot going on on this page, and I won't spend time on it, but our editors were really happy with this mock-up. Um, and the editors also complained about the PDF. Um, you know, they wanted the figures in the PDF. So we worked with eJournal Press to embed, auto-paginate and embed the figures in the PDF, and more importantly, parse the citations and get them in that PDF so that they don't have to toggle back and forth between the HTML file and the PDF and scroll and click and scroll and click. So um, that's been pretty well received. There has been some, you know, bubbles during the process, but, <laughs> but that's been good. We also tried to think of ways to thank our customers inexpensively and, and in little ways. So we offer, for example, our reviewers, we offer journal miles. They get 10 miles for every review. <laughs> They can accumulate them and cash them in for membership, because we need members. Um, they can get members for their labs or stu uh, people in their labs or students. It's just a little way to say thank you. For our plant cell authors, we send out a thank you letter once they're accepted. 
We give them access to limited edition wallpaper for their tablet or smartphone. And it, it changes all the time. So it's just a little thank you. And then for our editors, um, they give us the most. And we really, we give them a small honorarium. So we try to introduce a sense of humor, like, uh, you know, the knife, the multi-tool knife for the fastest to decline. So how's this all going? We started in January. There's been ups and downs, but our feedback is that we're on the right path. That's it. Thank you.